Good morning. John Gilkison here. It's um, Monday, uh, March 1st, 2021. And I'm just shooting my first video on my uh, Pecron uh, 1000 watt uh, power system. And uh, I wanted to show you uh, how it's working with with me having it set up in my library to run my television, my entertainment, and some lights and some stuff. Um, so the first thing is, is uh, you can see it, it's set up down here, kind of behind my car. It's not making any noise right now. It's uh, plenty cool enough. So, so there you have it. It's at this time, it's only drawing 68 watts. I don't have any sound on the TV. I seen it drawing 77 watts earlier when I had, uh, well, I have an induction charger right here set up for my phone, but I'm using my phone to shoot the video. Now this light here is battery powered, so it's not running off the unit, but the this lamp over here is and it's shining at the ceiling um, so here's all the plug-ins in front of my uh, TV and it's uh, there's three things plugged into it including uh, this unit here which is a blu-ray player it's not on but it uh, these things have some standby losses I noticed right away when I plugged things in that even though nothing was on, I I had uh, about 20 some watts had that was involved with standby losses. But anyway, this is not bad. I have lights in here. I have phone charging. I have uh, um, a television uh, that's running off a of Direct TV, which is the Direct TV is powered somewhere else, but. Uh, I have the extension cords to deal with it all, and the unit's quiet. It's not, there's only a fan running when it does run. So here you have it, 69 watts, and the most I've seen was um, 77 when I was charging the phone. So yeah, and I'll turn the sound on. It only at the moment. So that's exactly right. Listen, New York uh, went through its own trauma just a few years ago in which... Uh, now we can go to there was um, YouTube here. And that's... Uh, the Wi-Fi is powered somewhere else, too. I have a smaller power system coming in today that's going to be able to power the Wi-Fi and... Uh, I'm not going to look around here. We're just going to go for the first thing that comes up. Mm -hmm. Turn today's dreams. Four, Five six. years ago, Chevrolet was the first manufacturer to introduce a mass market, affordable, long range EV called the Bolt. That's right, even though Tesla gets all the hype in the electric car space, the Bolt technically beat the Model 3 to market by nearly a year. Now, since then, Chevrolet has said that the Bolt. As they should, <laughs> Chevrolet still not taking it serious. Uh, well, anyway, I'll let you go here. I wanted to keep this short and sweet, so we're just a little over four minutes. But uh, this is not bad. I can run a long time. There's actually a readout on the time on this. But just running this, what I'm running in this room, it says I could run 13.7 hours. So... Uh, that's what a kilowatt hour will buy you, which is amazing nowadays, you know, 30, 40 years ago, this stuff would have drawn a lot more power. So we'll see you all down the road here. I'm going to shoot a lengthier video on this power station and the other stuff I've been testing it with. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.